Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In today's video, we are going to solve one trigonometric equation. Our equation is sin of pi sin square x plus sin of pi cos square x equal to 2 sin square 2x. We have to find general solutions. So let's get it started by considering our substitution straight away. Let's say this bracket is A and this bracket we will call B. Let me write a equal to pi times sin square x, b equal to pi times cos square x. Let's say this is equation 1, equation 2. Add both the equations. I will get a plus b in LHS. In RHS, I can write pi times sin square x plus pi times cos square x. Now pi is common from RHS. So we will get sin square x plus cos square x in the bracket. Now this is one trig identity sin square theta plus cos square theta. We will be writing 1. So RHS will be pi. A plus b equal to pi. Now I will consider sine and cosine both sides. So sine of a plus b equal to sine pi and second case we will consider cos of a plus b equal to cos pi. Let us apply sine a plus b and cos a plus b formula. So I will get sin a cos b plus cos a sin b equal to sin pi. Sin pi is 0. Now I can take this term to the RHS. So I will be getting sin a cos b. This value will be equal to minus cos a sin b and I will call this is our equation number 3. Let us apply cos a plus b formula. So, I will be writing cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. This is formula for cos a plus b. In RHS we are having cos pi which is negative 1. Now I will multiply this equation by sin a both sides. So let me multiply both sides by sin a. So I can write equation sin a cos a cos b minus sin a times sin a. So I can write sin a square a times sin b equal to minus sin a. Now you can see I can utilize our equation number 3 here as we are having sin a cos b, sin a cos b. So in this place I can write minus cos a sin b. Let us write minus cos a sin b times cos a minus sin a square a sin b and RHS was minus sin a. Now I can simplify, I can write minus cos a times cos a. So minus of cos a square a times sin b minus sin a square a times sin b equal to minus sin a. Now you can see sin b is here, sin b is here along with minus sin. So we can take minus sin b common. So in the bracket we will get cos a square a plus sin a square a. 
RHS is minus sin A. Now here we are having again the trig identity cos square theta plus sin square theta we can write 1. So here I will be writing minus sin B equal to minus sin A. Multiply this equation with minus 1 we will get sin A equal to sin B or sin B equal to sin A. Or we can write A must be equal to B. Now I will write two cases from here. A equal to B. If A equal to 0, that means B must be equal to 0. And this was our A. This bracket was our B. So I can write here pi times sin is square x equal to 0. Divide both sides by pi. We will get sin is square x equal to 0 over pi is 0. Now we can take a square root both sides. We will get sin x equal to 0. So for this we will write general solution x equal to n pi. Here n belongs to integers. Now b equal to 0. So b was pi cos square x equal to 0. Divide both sides by pi. Cos square x equal to 0 over pi 0. Now we will consider square root both sides. We will get cos x equal to 0. Or I can write cos x equal to cos pi by 2. Now cos x equal to cos y. The general solution is 2n pi plus minus y. So I will write 2n pi plus minus pi over 2. This was our case 1. Case 2 where a or b cannot be 0. So let me write here case 2. I am writing b cannot be 0. So a equal to b or we can also write a cannot be 0. Now I can divide both sides by b as b is non-zero or we can divide both sides by a as a is non-zero. So here we will be getting 1. I can write a over b equal to 1. Now this bracket was a, this bracket was b. So I will put the values pi sin square x over pi cos square x equal to 1. Now pi and pi will be over. Sin over cosine is tan. We can write tan square x equal to 1 or tan x equal to plus minus 1. Let me write here tan x equal to plus minus 1. Or we can write tan x equal to plus minus tan pi over 4. Tan 45 is 1. So the general solution will be x equal to n pi plus minus pi over 4. Here n belongs to integers. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Bye bye.